The original Kardashev scale only ever went as far as type 3, but over the years it's been added to, and many now view type 5 as the absolute pinnacle. At this stage, an advanced enough being is imbued with all of the energy of the multiverse, with all the power of an infinite construct, along which this universe is just one tiny fiber. If humanity was to make it this far, then we probably wouldn't be all that human anymore. But what do you think will have arisen in our place? Type 5 is the pinnacle of the Kardashev scale, a system developed by astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev to measure humanity's technological advancement based on how much potential energy it can harness. Originally, there were only three levels, a Type 1 civilization, which can harness all of its home planet's energy, a Type 2, which uses all of its own star's energy, and a Type 3 that can harness all of the energy in its home galaxy. Kardashev had imagined that this was the upper limit, but the scale has recently been added to. Now it's proposed that Type 4 civilizations can harness the entire universe's energy, and a Type 5, the type we're interested in today, is able to access all of the energy in all of the universes and timelines that ever have, do, or will exist. Right now, we still reside somewhere in the Type 0 region, not even utilizing our own planet Earth to its full potential to make it to Type 1, so we're nowhere near close to anything like Type 5. But assuming we don't annihilate ourselves or die off in some other way, it's feasible, perhaps even logical, to think that we'll continue advancing with each generation and in time, we'd soar up and complete the Kardashev scale. So what would life be like if we did just that? Well, for starters, it would be almost unimaginable for us as we are now. Living a Type 5 existence would mean harnessing all the energy possible in the multiverse, which first and foremost means that we'd be at a time when the multiverse many worlds theory was not just a confirmed reality, but one that we'd have mastered. We'd be able to travel anywhere and everywhere, most likely via wormholes, not only within our own universe, but to any point in any possible universe. In this way, it's conceivable to think that such a civilization would have reached the acme of their technological prowess, the pinnacle at which everything that can exist does exist. The energy output for such a scenario is impossible to predict, or even to fathom. However, it has been estimated that a Type 4 civilization would have an output of 10 quattro decillion, that's 10 to the power of 45, watts of power. So, given that Type 4 would achieve this with just one universe, we'd multiply that figure by the number of universes that feature in our Type 5 multiverse. And that's the incredible, almost unquantifiable estimate we're dealing with. For all intents and purposes, we'd have unlimited energy and boundless potential. What would that mean for our general state of mind? Well, a Type 5 civilization would have a complete understanding of every theory in existence, will have mastered every form of mathematics, will have perfected medicine, biology, astronomy, physics, and every other branch of science, and will have written all there is to write. As with our access to energy, our access to knowledge would be almost incomprehensible. Even highly skilled roles like research scientists and theoretical physicists would now be occupations of the past, as there'd be no more research needed in any field. Objective truth would be known throughout humanity and the so-called theory of everything will have been identified. Humanity would be masters over the laws of nature, able to manipulate them as they please. We'd also know of and will have cataloged every life form ever to exist in any universe, past, present, or future. There'd be nothing that we wouldn't understand. Religion, theology, and even more general spirituality may well have died out at this point too, or at least the broader inclination to have faith in anything will have passed. We'd now be able to prove or disprove the existence of a god quite easily by traveling to its dimension, if there is one. We wouldn't require faith because we genuinely would know, although this part does depend on your interpretation. Some would argue that God is inaccessible to humans no matter how advanced we become. So even under Type 5 circumstances, we'd still fall short of supreme power. There'd be no doubting our powers everywhere else, though. By the time humanity had even reached a Type 2 level, we'd basically be invulnerable to destruction from nature. We could still obliterate ourselves by war, but natural disasters would no longer be a threat. Storms, earthquakes, and volcanoes would all be manageable. Even asteroids would be little more than a passing nuisance thanks to our development of various techniques for sidestepping them, including literally moving planets out of their path. Which means that by the time we transcend to Type 5 status, the colossal dangers we encounter today, what some might call acts of God, would be only a very distant memory. Even better though, for a Type 5 civilization, even war would be a thing of the past, with fair and universal cohesion sweeping across existence. 
part of the reason for no war could well be that the fundamental nature of our existence will have changed as well. According to some projections, a Type 5 civilization could actually wind up being a non-physical phenomenon. Say, in our genuinely infinite wisdom, we uncover or build a non-physical dimension where something akin to consciousness can reside. In the interests of ultimate efficiency, we could inhabit that, instead of this tangible world, to achieve an even higher level of existence. In so doing, we'd have effectively conquered aging, all disease, and even death, turning ourselves into adaptable, indestructible streams of data while still, in order not to sacrifice happiness, finding a way to remain content in our new selves. Anyone born into this age wouldn't have to fear death and could justifiably expect to live forever. We'd have long surpassed even the need for AI prosthetics or artificial organs, as even ultra-advanced robotics that now seem impossible will have become clunky, outdated, and unreliable. Even if someone did somehow die, we'd probably be able to recreate them again. Or they'd be able to manipulate the multiverse into erasing their death or reversing it. For a Type 5 being, what we today consider superpowers would be simple, blink-of-the-eye tasks. Which highlights a philosophical question at the heart of this heady sci-fi trip. Because if humanity was a Type 5 civilization, then could it really still consider itself as humanity at all? How human could it ever really be? We'd have the ability to shape the world around us, to switch between universal planes, to live for as long as we'd like, and perhaps even to construct for ourselves a paradisal afterlife if such a place was needed or wanted in a Type 5 time. The entire multiverse would now be our playground and we would exist more like the gods we envision today. Finally, and perhaps crucially, with a complete understanding of all dimensions across multiple universes, we'd also almost inevitably be able to time travel. We could harness our power to visit every moment in history, leaving no mystery unsolved and no historical inaccuracy unchecked, collating for ourselves a complete and definitive record of our existence. In this way, we'd at least be able to revisit the various lower levels of our evolution, even all the way back to the days of humanity as we understand it now. So, though we will have likely changed beyond all recognition, every Type 5 human would be able to instantly reconnect with the past. At which point, what would be the next step for us? Nothing, it seems. Right now, there's no established Type 6 to aspire to. As far as we can contemplate, any being that exists in a Type 5 civilization will have discovered everything there is to discover and would know everything there is to know. Our most fundamental quests for wisdom, knowledge, and truth will have hit a ceiling, and we might have nothing left to do. A good thing, perhaps, but maybe also our eventual downfall. The fabled Type 5 existence is an incredibly far-off dream that may perhaps never materialize, but if it did, it'd mean we'd have effectively completed life, a considerable achievement, but one that'd leave us without purpose, wondering what to do next. Regardless, we will have climbed the Kardashev scale to the very top, and that's what would happen if humanity was a Type 5 civilization. What do you think? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, check out these other clips from Unveiled, and make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for our latest content.